If you are in danger, what should you do? The old school of thought is run, hide and fight. But as 18 News reporter Bruce Juno found out, there is a new school of thought about that. He has advice from a longtime self-defense instructor and the Shimon County Sheriff. Is the shooter in your immediate area? If you answer yes to that, your only option that the, uh, it's going to give you the best chance of survival is charging at them and attacking them, making their ability to harm you um, ineffective. If they're not in your immediate area, you want to get to a place that's going to make it least likely for you to be found, but it's going to put you in a good position to fight for your life if you have to. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of different philosophies out there. Um, I'm not saying that one is any better than the other one. Uh, we feel that based on the consistency of, of this practice being taught and being taught from the federal level down, uh, that this is the most appropriate one for us to adopt and, and utilize. If you're outside and you hear gunfire, we tell people you want to go inside somewhere, which is counter what the FBI says, a run, hide, fight, what they recommend of, you know, if you're in a building, they say run outside, get away from the sound of gunfire. The problem with that is you don't know where the gunmen are. It's much easier for a gunman to do harm to you when you're out in the open. And any security features that your building has, whether it's, you know, locked doors, bulletproof glass, et cetera, all those features work when you're inside. I always encourage people. I've overseen the pistol permit process since 2006. Uh, some people have familiarity with firearms. Some have none whatsoever. We always encourage them, get exposure to as many things as you can and then make your decision based on the information that you're provided. Um, if somebody's armed and you're not, you don't wanna be you know, 15, 20, 30 feet away from them. You wanna be right next to them so that you can affect which way that weapon's um, pointed. Um, make sure that you're you know, making sure it's not pointed at you or anybody else you care about. And then basically we tell people you wanna attack the head and face with blunt force trauma. Zach Pugh says a lot more about his method of self-defense. We put our entire interviews with him and with Sheriff Shrum on our website, montamontiers.com.